Dan, it's so nice to see you. Congratulations on your joint development agreement with Yumacore. How about you tell us a little about this news announcement, the market's responding very favorably to this announcement. Yeah, well, listen, Yubacor obviously is a very big player in the cathode space. Uh, tremendous to have them as a as a partner, very validating for Nano One, um, and to have them in our uh, in our ecosystem. We are uh, will be working with Yumacore uh, jointly, uh, using their obviously their expertise in production and uh, and and supply chain management and and really cathode technology and our advanced technology to improve the uh, throughput and the cost and the environmental footprint of cathode manufacturing. All of this with the goal of making uh, Yumacore's cathode materials using Nano One's process. Uh, and and, and that's really the, the the that's the core objective of what we're trying to do: trying to create a you know, long-term, resilient, uh, secure supply chain in North America, in Europe, uh, and around the world using this kind of underlying technology. As usual, your news releases are so well written, and you identify the three critical points that you plan on achieving in this agreement. If you don't mind, I'm going to have you go through all three with me, starting with parties to jointly leverage their technologies for high nickel, NMC, cathode active materials. What do you mean by that? Well, so so uh, Umicor is uh, is has been is a dominant player in uh, lithium cobalt oxide batteries and 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 nickel rich cathode materials um, for uh, electronic uh, you know consumer electronic applications and obviously the emerging electric vehicle market and uh, they manufacture a tremendous amount of that material and have a lot of know-how in how to manufacture in volume. So what we're really doing here is we're leveraging their um, their their know-how and uh, we are bringing Nano One's uh, sort of nascent uh, sort of technological advancements to that. So uh, we have our one pot process and our m to cam process, which can uh, uh, improve the uh, well, reduce the number of steps, and that improves the throughput of the uh, of the underlying process. It drives down cost, and because we're able to use alternative sources of lithium, nickel, magnesium, cobalt, we can avoid some of the uh, uh, environmental footprint footprint that's associated with the incumbent processes. So it's really it's it's taking Nano One's process and making. Uh, uh, Umicore of formulations of cathode materials, and uh, all, all really with the gain of uh, of driving down cost, complexity, environmental footprint. So clearly, you have a technology that's beneficial to Umicore. Um, yes, uh, very much so. Um, and we spent some time working uh, with Umicore over the over the the last few years, uh, evaluating our technology and getting to the stage we're at right now. And of course, Humicore's proprietary process uses high nickel manganese cobalt combination, correct? That is that is correct. Yes. So there are uh, there's kind of many different flavors of nickel rich or or uh, based cath- NMC cathode materials, and uh, Humicore has a uh, a series of formulations that are proprietary to them. And that's what makes this really unique. Look, our technology can can be used to make any different type of uh, cathode material, and uh, and in this case, we will be uh, modifying and optimizing our technology to make their formulations. So um, it's not an exclusive relationship um, uh, in the sense we can do the same thing for our other partners, um, but it does allow us to create a customized version of our technology to be used with uh, with Umicore. Of course, you have a lovely paragraph about how Yumacore does 2.1 billion in the first half of 2022, or the group generates revenues. I'm just reading this here from your news release. When will uh, Nano One material shareholders anticipate seeing the impact of this news on your bottom line? Well, listen, the uh, obviously in, in a joint development program, you're combining two technologies, a lot of development work. It starts at the really starts at the bench level um, in, uh, in in their labs and our labs. And we build that up towards a uh, towards commercial samples that we would uh, we would trial with our mutual partners, uh, ultimately, and uh, with the hope of getting into a uh, 
uh, some kind of um, of a piloting program uh, to make again to make their materials with our underlying technology. And uh, I can't give specific dates on that. It's a multi-phase process uh, project with um, with a number of go no go. Um, uh, milestones in there and uh, but it, it, it's kind of me- measured in years uh, until we kind of get through uh, a number of those steps. Many of us deem this to be substantial news this morning. I have received a volume of emails from top experts in the uh, industry, uh, all kinds of companies who seek to decarbonize our economy were sending me, did you see the Nano One news? Can you add anything to that and help us understand this just a little bit better? Well, look, I, you're hearing from those people because Umacor is a, 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 a big player. I mean, they've got a footprint uh, all around the world in the space. They have, they've actually announced uh, production facilities in Canada earlier this year. And um, and of course, they uh, they have a, they have a footprint in Asia, in Korea, in China, um, and uh, and in Europe as well. They're uh, they are joint venture partner with Volkswagen, uh, so they're not a, a name to be trifled with, and, and uh, we're very proud to have them as a uh, as a partner, as a development partner, and, uh, and 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 as I said earlier, it really does um, bring a lot of credibility to what our team, what our technical technical team has been able to build. It's uh, it's obviously we're building for the future, we're building for the next generation Catherine materials. We can't get to terawatt hours and uh, of batteries and and electric cars in everybody's driveways unless uh unless we solve some of the uh, the really kind of big problems uh, and uh, associated with the scale up of this industry and that is nano one's intent that's in our dna we're trying to uh, remove uh you know prohibitive waste streams prohibitive cost structures prohibitive supply chains um uh that uh, that will get in the way of that and and uh, having umacor on board uh, really helps validate that uh that underlying premise and and uh, and mission that uh, we hold dear to heart at Nano One. Well, Dan, as always, what a pleasure. And thank you so much for the update today. Thank you, Tracy. I always appreciate the opportunity to talk with you and your audience.